Hey, hey! Welcome or welcome back. It's good to see you. I'm uh, trying to catch up on Telenim. I have not looked through Amberlynn's Telenim for several days, probably five or six days. So all these questions I have are old. So all of these questions are going to be some older ones. I apologize. I've been working on a lot of other stuff, so I'm behind on the Telenim. I need to go check out what she's posted recently and get some screenshots and get some other videos recorded for that. I have another video, maybe two, for some that I already have screen capped. Um, I may get rid of some of them if I find they just aren't that interesting. But anyway, in this video, we have some questions related to her 100 day walking challenge she created for herself. So if you aren't familiar, Amber Lynn set a goal for herself to be able to walk a mile without stopping after 100 days. And that's been, I think around the 1st of May was when that video was uploaded. That was her goal to, after 100 days, be able to walk one mile without stopping. So these are questions related to that goal. First one, you couldn't walk a mile, girl, but you have such good stamina. You always remind us of. <laughs> Amberlynn says, oh yes, the stamina compared to walking to a tree and dying while doing it is drastically better. Heart emoji. I've gained stamina because I'm trying, but at this size, it's not an easy thing to do. I'm trying though, and I think being able to walk half a mile shows that. I could barely walk to the bathroom a few years ago. Yeah, you know, definitely at her size, being able to walk half a mile in one go is pretty good, I would say. So, you know, good on her for setting this goal and trying to be more active and walk more. I think that will do wonders for her mental health and her physical health. Your new 100 day goal sounds great. You got this. <laughs> Amberlynn says, thank you. I wish it wasn't raining today because I would be outside walking for sure. I hate walking in the rain because it slows me down. Well, I mean, plus it's just, it's kind of, icky to walk in the rain if you're not covered up, you know, I mean, for me especially, I wear glasses, so they get covered in raindrops. In Berlin doesn't wear glasses, but it's, it's, it's just not very comfortable to walk in the rain. In response to what Amberlynn had just answered, so you already quit? Amberlynn says, where did I say I quit? Because I said I wish it wasn't raining so I could go outside and walk? Lol. My goal is to be able to walk a mile in a hundred days. That is what I am aiming towards. In response to what Amberlynn just answered with the where did I say I quit? In 100 days, are you trying to walk a mile total, a little bit every day, so you walk one mile in that period? Or be able to walk a mile with no trouble? Just curious since I'm not sure. And I want to cheer you on, so I just want to be sure what I'm rooting for. Either way, I'm rooting for you. Amberlynn says, I want to be able to walk a mile comfortably at one time. Next one. Her answers indicate she did quit. Her videos are pre-recorded, so most likely she's already given up on trying to reach her goal. Amberlynn says, I did not quit. <laughs> Next one. Amber, why not just do 10 days instead of 100? 100 days seems impossible, and 10 days is actually proven to be working really well for a long-term goal. If you'd want to quit, at least you'd have 10 days and a sense of achievement. High five emoji. Amberlynn says, I'm aiming to be able to walk one mile without stopping in 100 days. I can't do that in 10 days, lol. Maybe 50, but I doubt it. I just want to give myself time to build stamina, to practice by walking and doing other activities to build my stamina, etc. I'm not saying I'm going to walk daily or anything like that because that's just unrealistic but I am aiming to walk a few times a week. Yeah, so she didn't say she was going to walk every single day, which, you know, I'll give her that. And, and she doesn't have to, as long as she's up doing stuff around the house and then goes on a walk a few times a week and tries to walk a little bit further each day, you know, she'll, she'll be building up to it. Oh, so now you're not going to walk daily. What the fuck then? What's the point of the challenge? Amber says, Walking about four times a week, dancing about three times a week, and doing the circuit every other day to build stamina. The point of the challenge is to give me a goal to aim towards. Without a goal, I don't think I'd be working as hard with exercising. 
I don't believe Amberlynn ever said in her video she was going to walk every day. Um, I think she knew that was unrealistic. She just set a goal for within 100 days to be able to walk a mile. Um, this was something about being able to walk at once, and she had responded, oh, I can walk Twinkie for 30 minutes and be fine. Um, and saying that she can, like, walk in stores a lot, but she's taking breaks and stopping and looking at things. So, somebody you said, girl, that is not cheating. At your size, you should be proud of standing for more than a few minutes. If you can do a mile without standing breaks, do it. Amberlynn says, thank you, smiley emoji. Yeah, you know, she could walk a mile just by walking around stores and stuff all day. But, you know, she's going to be stopping, taking breaks, looking at things, sitting down, standing, whatever. Uh, in regards to walking Twinkie for 30 minutes, this is a law. You cannot stand for 30 continuous minutes. Amberlynn says, I literally was just at the grocery store today for about 70 minutes, give or take, and I did not sit once. Lol, I don't use a scooter anymore. Heart emoji, heart emoji. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it hurts her back a little bit, but I mean, I don't have a reason to not believe her that she can't stand for 30 minutes. I mean, we see her doing things around the house and standing and walking. It might be edited, but that takes more than 30 minutes a lot of the times. So Amberlynn had said in her video that her hands had swollen a bit after her walk. And this person just says, I just wanted to let you know it's completely normal for your hands and feet to swell during exercise. It has to do with increased blood flow, causing your vessels to open wider. I'm sure people have been picking at you about the fact that you said your hands were swelling during your walk but it's totally normal and happened to me in track slash cross country all the time. Amberlynn says, it happens to my girlfriend too, and she also did track and played a lot of sports. People just want to scare me, but it ain't working. This hand thing has been happening to me since I was a little girl. Thank you for reaching out to me though. I appreciate it, heart emoji. Um, sure, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I've experienced this. If I have, I haven't noticed, but it seems to be a common thing. You just said you couldn't walk without breaks. You're confusing. And that's in response to her being at the grocery store. Amberlynn says, OMG, people don't know how to read. Like, I genuinely don't understand how people can read what I'm saying, but still have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, when you're in the grocery store, it's not like you're running laps around it. You're stopping and looking at things. You're putting things in the, it's, <laughs> you're not, you're not in there with your shopping cart, you know, doing a NASCAR lap around the store. Jesus. Here comes Cheryl of Team 2. Let's follow her. What's her shopping strategy? Ah, oh, go right for the shopping list. Some people, if it takes on average 20 minutes to walk a mile, then how are you walking for 30 minutes? No problem, like you said a little while ago. Amberlynn says, oh, I can walk Twinkie for 30 minutes and be fine. You wouldn't believe how many times she stop stops to smell literally everything. Laughing, crying emoji, heart face emoji. Like I said, being able to stand for a minute helps me. I'd be able to walk a mile if I allowed myself to just stand about every five minutes, but that's cheating in my opinion, lol. I don't want my legs to stop moving. Um, 20 minutes to walk a mile. I don't think, you know, maybe for somebody much smaller than Amberlynn, but I think for Amberlynn, it would take her much longer to walk a mile at her size. So walking Twinkie for 30 minutes, you know, dogs like to stop and sniff and smell and use the bathroom. You stand there, let them walk around for a bit for like five minutes, whatever. You're not, you're, you're usually not constantly walking with certain dogs. They're, they're going to stop and sniff, but Amberlynn cannot walk a mile in 20 minutes. So, I mean, let's be realistic on that. So two different things here as far as distances. All right. That one was pretty short. Uh, not a lot of questions at that time, it seems for the, uh, for the mile challenge, but what do you all think about Amberlynn's new goal?
with it being 100 days, I mean, when she has something that she wants to do every single day for 100 days, she doesn't seem to ever do it. But this is kind of an end game kind of goal of after this many days, I want to be able to do something. It's not a, I have to do X every single day for 100 days. So hopefully she'll be able to do this one, you know, and if she is, good for her. You know, I, I really hope she's able to complete it. But that's all I got for you in this one. I'm going to get on to the next one. And I will see you next time. Be safe and take care.